Some things in this universe were just born to be together. Peanut butter and jelly, Siegfried and Roy. My favorite combination in the universe just might be buffalo wings and beer. And Buffalo, New York is the mecca of this combination. The buffalo wings exploded in the streets in the late 60s and early 70s. And the epicenter is called Bar Bill in East Aurora, New York. It's a small bar with big flavor. Their chicken wing recipe is unreal. Their sauces, still a secret to this day, 40 some years later. And you wash it down with the perfect beer, an ice cold Labatt Blue. So we went up to Buffalo to check it out. And let me tell you something. This is more than just food and beer. This is an experience. And in the city of Buffalo, it's religion. Listen, when you come to Buffalo, you do two things, all right? You drink Labatt Blue, and you head in to Bar Bill Tavern, and you eat chicken wings. That's right. I'm here with my man John, owner of this lovely establishment. That's right. We're talking late 60s here. Your great uncle owned the place. You're eating roast beef sandwiches. Then the chicken wing pops off, and then you just perfect it. And now you got the de best damn chicken wings in the hemisphere. That's right. And in the hemisphere, as I've never said it, it sounded kind of weird. <laughs> But I'm gonna keep rolling true. with it like it's just natural and something that I usually say in my daily conversations. Perfect. What's going on with that sauce? I mean, is that a secret thing? Is that how it works? Is Super it... secret, yeah. yeah. Only, actually only three dudes know how to make it. Joe, the, my great uncle from the 70s who made them all up. Then it's me and my brother. Do you just make it like when there's no one around? Yep. Because I, I mean, I'm kind of a chicken wing connoisseur. I'm a little bit fat, I drink a lot of beer, <laughs> and I've been eating a Same. lot of chicken wings my entire <laughs> life for a really good chicken wing sauce. I know that there's butter in there. I worked at a restaurant that was extremely popular where I lived, and I know that there was a little bit of there, there was a lot of butter in there. There's just something else in yours. I, I was eating them, I couldn't figure it out. There's just this extra little there bit of is, something going on. Yeah, there's actually, I think it's like almost 20 ingredients. 20. Yeah, we have nitpicky stuff about our whole process. We're very, we're a little over the top. We do a longer cook time. We do, we paint our wings on per wing with a brush. Yeah, because you um, get that plate of sauce normally. Yep. But you, your wings were full of sauce, but they were there was no pool of sauce. Right, right. Uh, we have our cooks run the food themselves, so you're not waiting for a server, so it's not oh. sitting under a hot lamp. So yeah. the minute your wings are done, the cook just walks them right out for you. That's, yeah. Nobody does that. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, I've never seen that. a cook in my entire life ever yep. think about running food. Right, exactly. They just yell at people. <laughs> yeah. There's food in the window! Yeah, yeah. Get the food out the window! <laughs> Being in the hub of the chicken wing, where it all started, sipping the perfect beer, adding it together with the wings, I'm gonna probably be a machine today. <laughs> you know, Labatt Blue is an, it's almost the perfect beer to drink while you're eating these chicken wings. I agree, it's my personal favorite. I'm ready to rock. Let's let we head back to that kitchen and see what you got going on Let's back Let's do here. it. All right, John, we're back here in your kitchen where the magic happens. I mean, for a place to crank out this much business, this is a pretty small operation here. Yeah, a few very important parts go into this. Number one, the most important part is you're cooking from fresh. Um, so we put them in uh, bags of 10. Oh, you got someone back here bagging up wings like it's weed. Oh yeah, all day long. So right in, boom, right 20 in. in. Yep, 20 in. Another secret to our success is timers. Oh, we got a timer ready to rock. Yeah. So how long, each, how long do you deep fry these wings? We do 15 minutes per 10, okay. and then we add an additional minute for every additional 10 we put in. So for so 20 16? be 16. Okay. Yep. So better. we got 16 minutes here. That's perfect to know, especially if they're trying to make wings at home. Obviously, this you know, depending on what temperature your oil is compared to what they got at home. Yep. You know, 16 minutes, roughly 15 minutes for yep. 10 wings. Yep. It has to be mean even a little bit more just because yeah, of the sure. nature of what you have. You know, your blue cheese is unbelievable. Thank you. Um, and like Uncle Joey Dada said, Joe, Joey Coco Diaz, <laughs> you know, it's blue cheese with wings and go fuck yourself. That's goddamn right. What, what's, set, what's setting you guys apart in the blue cheese game? Well, first and foremost, we make our own, which a lot of people don't do. Yeah, they order that. Yep. They get tubs of it. Yep. The thing that honestly makes the biggest difference is two things, making it from a wheel of blue cheese, not buying the already mm -hmm. crumbled because they put some kind of weird dust on the cheese to yeah. keep it broken up. It just doesn't taste good, it's weird, it's unappetizing, it's bizarre, a lot of people do that because it yeah. saves time. And then the other one is letting it sit overnight. If you don't let it sit overnight, it won't taste like blue cheese, just tastes like mayonnaise or whatever Yeah, it's whatever just not you an overpowering, you know, that, that, that crumble like you're talking about. It's, all, it's super creamy, there's a little bit of sweetness there, it's just, it's just a wonderful blue cheese. Thank you. And I'm Thank glad you. you guys are taking the extra effort and put in the extra time to make it fresh and wait to the perfect time to serve it. Yep. Mm. Now let's go to the magic. Obviously it's it. a secret sauce, but the hot sauce isn't your only sauce here. You guys have a hell of a lot of options. Yep. We got a bunch. This is spicy Asian. It's kind of a uh, okay. nondescript, you know, yeah. sweet and spicy Asian type sauce. So, wow. It has like a sweet, but a huge kick to it there. That's right. That's really delicious. Yeah, we take it super seriously that everything has to be super spicy. All right, let's see. Now we got the, now we got what here? We got Honey Dijon. That's another secret. That's uh, it's one of my faves, honestly. Wow. You guys have a real 
a real understanding of the relationship between sweet and spicy. We try because that is delicious. Now we go here to staple. This is this is the staple right here. This is our hot. I mean, you can say it's a staple, but a lot of it's too hot for a lot of people. It's pretty yeah. serious. A lot of soft ass hoes out there trying to handle <laughs> a little bit of hot sauce. Man, I mean, I'm picking up some cayenne. Obviously, mm -hmm. you're getting the hot sauce. There is some sweetness in there. Obviously, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm feeling maybe some of the butter or whatever. Whatever. We're, those 20 ingredients are, yep, yep. but it's not like a hot, like when it hits your mouth, it kind of lingers it builds, perfectly. Yep. It you builds know? for sure. That's, and this is why you want to have a nice cold Labatt Blue in your hand. You hit this hot wing sauce, it's a 30, 40 year old secret recipe, you're gonna need something to keep your shit balanced. So true. Now yep. it's pretty much time, right? Yep. Oh, there it is, it's time. It's all coming together right now, right here. I'm ready to Let's rock. Let's try these babies. Look at that, boom! All right, so obviously we'll let the oil drip off a little bit there. That's right. A lot of places I've seen, all they do is they have sauce in a barrel, they toss the wings in, and then they just swish them around, which might end up you know, wasting sauce, I'm assuming. It definitely wastes sauce, but more importantly, it makes the wings soggy. And if you put wings with something with a lid on them, it steams them and you lose all how crispy it is. Okay. So that's, that's the two reasons we do it. It keeps them crispy and you can control exactly how much sauce you want on them. Do you think your employees are ever secretly like, yo, this fucking guy's got me painting individual wings. And Every day. They've got to be like, yo, I want to buy this place someday so I can stop painting the wings. Yeah, that's what it's all about, you know? You got to inspire them. This is meticulous as shit. Yeah, it's not fun. Look, oh, what do you got there? That's what we call salt and spice, a little secret proprietary uh, okay. seasoning blend. All right, my man, we cooked up 20 wings. You, you gave us a nice little buffet of flavors. Mm -hmm. You got the perfect beer sitting next to it. This couldn't be more iconic of just how chicken wing order should come when it looks. So true. So, so what do we got happening here? We got all kinds of stuff. We got, it's called, we call it Honey Dijon. It's got a lot right. going on. You're gonna get some spice, a little bit of sweetness, right into the blue cheese. You don't go no sauce, huh? I gotta go with this. Your blue cheese is too damn good. I like to start with just a regular. Mm. Where I go in? I'm gonna be honest, man. This is just unbelievable. Flavor, the consistency of the chicken, it's perfectly, it's just that perfect firmness. The, the honey, the flavor, the, the sweetness, and the spicy. These are only a mild spice to them, mm -hmm. but it's so perfect. And make sure you eat all the meat on the bone. Don't be an asshole. <laughs> you got artists back here doing work, and then you're sitting here just leaving a bunch of chicken on the bone. I think it should be a misdemeanor, at least a buffalo. I agree. All right, you went with the sesame seeds here. Real thug move by you. <laughs> That's what we got here. I wonder if Chinese people, or they even have any idea that Americans have just taken their zingy ass, delicious, sweet, hot flavors <laughs> and just made them ours. Cause they don't know, there's no way there's Asian wings in Asia. We got another bomb. <laughs> Nothing better to cleanse your palate than a staple in the beer world, man. The bad blue. All right, go medium here. I would never order medium, but I respect it. Cause people, a lot of soft people out there, they can't handle it. You know, maybe they have good personalities, but they have weak bellies, you know? <laughs> It's killing me. There's just like this extra little bit of flavor in there, just really subtle that I just can't figure out. That is just so different, but delicious. Thank you. It's been an honor for you to uh, walk me through your operation here. Anytime, anytime. You know, but you know what? This place is about to open. The line's already forming. A bunch of chicken wing eating, Labatt Blue beer drinking people coming in here, and we're gonna hang out with them, talk about it, and enjoy life on a sweet Saturday in Buffalo. Love it. In a world that's always changing and becoming more complicated, it sure is refreshing to know some things will never change, and that's the buffalo wing at Bar Bill in East Aurora. And washing it all down with an ice cold Labatt Blue beer, that's just pure satisfaction. <laughs>